Hi, my name is Camille from Pareto Education and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will talk about thyroid disorders. The thyroid gland is an endocrine gland that anatomically sits in your neck and it is responsible for producing an essential hormone. This thyroid hormone is responsible for controlling the rate of metabolism in your body. To simplify things, high levels of thyroid hormone speed up metabolism while low levels slow things down. Patients with thyroid disorders can either have hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism. In hyperthyroidism, they have symptoms such as palpitations, tremor, weight loss, lack of periods, and even eye disease if they have an autoimmune cause like Graves' disease. In hypothyroidism, patients may complain of feeling cold, tired, and weight gain. They may complain of their hair becoming noticeably thinner. Undoubtedly, hypothyroidism is a more common condition, but it is important to be vigilant about both. A suspicion of thyroid disorder or vague symptoms that could represent thyroid disease should warrant initial blood tests and management based on outcomes. Let's see a history example and we can take it from there. Hello, my name is Camille and I'm one of the advanced paramedics here at the practice. Can I start by taking your name, please? Yeah, I'm uh, Alan Smith and um, I'm 37 years old. Nice to meet you, Alan. So how can I help you today? Well, uh, I've just been feeling quite worn out, quite tired, and probably over the past six to seven months. Yeah. And somebody recommended I come and see yourself to, to look into why that might be. Absolutely, you've done the right thing by coming to seek help today. So tell me about this tiredness. Would you say it's tiredness all the time? And when you've not been sleeping well, what's... Well, actually, I, I think I sleep quite well, to be honest. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, so I don't think it's linked to my sleeping, but I do feel tired pretty much all the time. And I appreciate that might be quite a common thing for people to say, but I genuinely feel really worn out. I'm quite active. I play a lot of sports, so I'm not somebody that gets tired very easily. But the yeah. last six to seven months have been quite different to what I'm used to. And has it been getting progressively better, worse, about the same? I'd probably say it's about the same. Yeah. Um, but of course, when you're tired all the time, you can't do what you normally enjoy. Yeah. So I can't really give my all when it comes to sports. Yeah. Um, and I, I think at 37, I'm, you know, still well enough to play at quite a high level. Yeah. But I'm not really able to. And would you say this is impacting your life side outside of, I mean, your day-to-day -day living, work? Everything. Yeah. And is it just the tiredness or is there other associated symptoms? concentration, mood, you know, these kind of things. Well, I think my concentration is probably impeded by the fact that I'm tired. And my mood's okay, you know, I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, I've got a loving family. Yeah. Um, I don't really have any complaints at the moment. So no feeling down all the time or? No. Okay, fine. And what is it that you do uh, as occupation? I'm a stockbroker. Okay. I'm not a junior, as in I've managed to kind of cut the crazy hours that I used to do. Um, so I'm relatively nine to five mm -hmm. and I'm more managerial as opposed to, you know, doing the grind. Any change in your lifestyle in terms of stresses? You know, is there been a new baby? Is there been a new life event? Marriage? Moving house? Anything? No, nothing, nothing from what you've said. Everything's okay. pretty much the same. Okay. Um, and what about other things such as, you know, some people use stimulants, caffeine, sometimes people say nicotine, sometimes helps with their, sometimes illicit drug use, anything like that that's in your... No, nothing like that. So we don't drink like any rest Red Bull or caffeine intake changing? No, I'm, I'm quite caffeine sensitive. Okay. So um, I tend to stay off. And if I do have tea or anything like that, it's normally decaf. So I'm not caffeine dependent at all. I know by eating habits, are they been relatively stable? Yeah, very good. I'm a good eater, but I eat, eat very well. Um, you know, lots of greens and lots of fruit. You know, I'm not one to indulge in my food. Yeah. And when you say you're tired, let's just go back to the initial symptom. Would you say it's weakness or are you feeling sleepy? I think it's weakness in okay. the sense that I don't feel sleepy. I just mm. feel exhausted. And actually, you know, some of my muscles and, you know, almost my muscles really are feeling a little bit weak, a little bit crampy mm. almost. Yeah. And have you noticed any other general changes, any changes in the appetite? You said no, no eating as well as I normally do. Any changes in your bowels? I'm definitely more constipated than I ever have been. Um, okay. You know, I've never really been one to suffer from constipation and I eat all the greens and fibre that I need. But um, I have noticed that things are a little bit more difficult to move along, so to say. I understand. 
have you noticed any changes in your skin, for example, in your hair? It's interesting you mentioned that. You know, I've, I come from a family with very, very good heads of hair, and, but, but my hair is definitely uh, thinning now and my skin's drying out. Um, okay. You know, I've got flaky hair, flaky skin, and that's never been me. Any change in your weight? Would you say any weight loss, any weight gain? I think I'm putting on weight. Oh, really? And I, yeah, and I can't work out why. Fine. Um, because my activity levels have been much the same. Right. But yeah, my, my weight is coming on. I understand. Yeah. It's the summertime. Have you noticed any feeling cold? You're wearing a jacket where everyone's feeling in t-shirts or? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're in t-shirt. I've had to put this jumper on because I do feel quite cold. And even at home, I feel like I'm needing to wear socks and jumpers. And my, my partner looks at me quite weird. Okay. And to think, why is he wearing this? But I, I, feel, I feel the need to. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about any past medical history. Have you seen anything regularly, the medical practice? No, no, nothing at all. I'm, I'm quite well. Okay. And no fever spikes, anything like that recently? No, no um, temperatures. No coughs, colds, um, you know, any problems with your breathing, chest pain, abdominal pain? No, none of those symptoms. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about your social. Are you a smoker? I'm not a smoker. No, no smoking? Never okay. smoked in my life. Are there any alcohol use? Very little, just, you know, in social events, but not a daily thing. Okay, and we've already established that there's no illicit drug use? No, nothing at all. And you mentioned in your trade that you're a managerial for a banking system, is that right? Correct. Yeah. And let's talk about any medications that you take over the counter. I know you've not got any regular medications, perhaps. Um, no, nothing. Just occasional paracetamol for a headache, yeah. but nothing regularly. Fine, and you have no allergies? No allergies. Okay. So with the symptoms that you're describing, I mean, this is what we call a consultation of tiredness all the time. And with these, we'd like to do a few basic checks. So we'd just like to take your observations, blood pressure, that kind of thing, okay. and your heart rate. On top of this, I would also like to take some blood tests. Okay. If you are agreeable. I would normally just check for things like anemia, so I'll take a full blood count. That's just a low blood level count. We'll check your kidneys. And one particular thing, a hormone level I want to check is your thyroid level. Right. Now, you're in the younger cohort, and to be honest, the symptoms that you're describing are, can be related to the thyroid issue. Right, okay. So this is, I mean, this will be confirmed on the blood test, but all the symptoms, the way you're presenting, point towards something called hypothyroidism. Right, I see. You seem a little confused by that? No, no, I've just, you know, naturally you Google and you read, and uh, I did read about hypothyroidism. Right. And if you think that it's matching up, then, you know, fair enough. What in particular from your symptoms would you say you know, that led you down the path of that? I think it's just, you know, the, the tiredness, the dry skin and mm. thinning of the hair. It's all happening all at the same time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was reading that these things can happen because of hormonal deficiencies yeah. like thyroid. So do you have any particular concerns or expectations about what we should do next? No, I just want us to get to the bottom of it. You know, I'm, I'm going to be patient with your plan. Yeah. And it will be good to see what the results of some of those tests are. So we'll do the blood test and we should base the next steps based on that. In the meantime, I'll we'll continue what you're doing, regular exercise, good sleeping hygiene and uh, good. In the meantime, continue what you're doing, good uh, diet, good sleep. And hopefully the blood test should give us some indication. Okay. I'm hoping they do. And in that case, we can start some medications perhaps, and then we'll explore that more in the next consultation, which I'll book for in a week's time when we have the blood results. Brilliant. If the blood tests don't show what we'd expected or there's your thyroid levels are normal, your fluid blood count is okay, then we'll explore what other avenues we can take from here. I'd appreciate that. So is that a clear plan? We'll book in for phlebotomy today, and then we'll repeat the appointment in a week based on these results. Perfect. That sounds brilliant. Thank you very much.